Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome, everyone, to a very special Jeopardy event. For the next three days, we're going to be coming to you from this IBM research facility just outside of New York City. And let me tell you why. A little over three years ago, the folks at IBM came to us with a proposal that they considered to be the next grand challenge in computing. And that was designing a computer system that could understand the complexities of natural language well enough to compete against Jeopardy's best players. Well, they think they've succeeded, and that's why we're here today. So you are about to witness what may prove to be an historic competition, an exhibition match pitting an IBM computer system against the two most celebrated and successful players in Jeopardy! history. Sounds like a lot of fun, doesn't it? So, Johnny, let's meet our contestants. In 2000, he became a five-time champion and went on to win three of Jeopardy's most prestigious tournaments, earning a record $3.2 million. Ladies and gentlemen, Brad Rutter. And now our next player. In 2004, his record-breaking 74-game win streak... Ken. Who's Aristophanes? Ken. What's the Trojan horse? Ken. Who's Jean Lafitte? Ken. What's the dodo? Ken. What is Stella? Set a standard for excellence that may never be equal. Ladies and gentlemen, Ken Jennings. And now, the newcomer. Developed and programmed especially for this moment, making its first appearance on our national television program. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Watson. Just as I expected, that was a very warm reception, and I'm sure Watson would have appreciated the applause except for one thing. Watson can neither hear nor see. It will be receiving all of its information electronically. And as a matter of fact, what you're looking at right now is not the real Watson. This is an avatar. This is a representation of Watson. Watson, of course, is a sophisticated computer system, too big and too heavy to fit behind that lectern on our stage. But it is close by. It's right next door. And a little while ago, I paid it a visit. The very first thing you will notice as I come into Watson's space is noise. There is a lot of noise. A little bit comes from Watson himself, but most of the noise comes from two very large refrigerator units that help to keep Watson cool. Now, as you can see, Watson has been set up in two units. Each half contains five separate racks. Each of these racks contains 10 IBM Power 750 servers. Now, when you link all of these servers together, as they have done for Watson, you create a deep analytic system that is the equivalent of 2,800 powerful computers tied together in a super high-speed network. It has a memory capacity of over 15 trillion bytes. But like all Jeopardy! contestants, Watson has to stand on his own. He has to rely on all the knowledge that he has. Some of the world's most brilliant minds have created this very impressive system. And now we all get to find out how well Watson will perform right after this message. 